strategic red lines. That was California Governor Gavin Newsom giving himself a pat on the back for his recent trip to China, where he met with Xi Jinping. The visit met with plenty of pushback after he failed to mention China's human rights abuses and uh, zipped around in a $160,000 electric vehicle. California lawmakers slamming him as tone deaf, while the governor says, quote, I can't be everything to everybody, every moment of every minute of every day. Christian, that was... <laughs> I was Gavin I mean, Newsom. Uh, unreal. Well, but wait, wait. Before you even <laughs> respond to this, I've got to point this out because this is such, this is incredible. Strategic red lines. Is a strategic red line uh, allowing a deadly, uh, a deadly disease to escape China and then covering it up? Is a strategic red line uh, stealing intellectual property for decades? Is a strategic red line bullying our ships in the air and, and our planes in the air and our ships in the water? I mean, what is he talking about, this strategic red? The strategic red line was crossed in 2020. Most definitely. And in this case, he's giving a pat on the back to Pre President Xi, but a slap in the face to the American public because this is a disgrace. He is now, he has the go ahead from the Democrat Party to meet with President Xi because he's waiting in the wings for when Joe Biden can no longer uh, fulfill his duties and next go around. Um, he'll be hiding in the basement. But basically, with Gavin Newsom, he's completely ignoring even the, the auto workers who are now striking because yeah. um, he's promoting electric vehicles as well, sitting in 160,000 dollar electric vehicle car, which China probably stole our uh, technology in order to create. Um, China's the number one polluter. He doesn't mention that. He can't be an yeah. anything to anybody. And certainly these images, China's laughing at us at this moment. In the middle of a war on Israel, in the middle of the war on Ukraine, he's going to China to talk about climate change. Yeah. Meanwhile, we know China is somehow backing Iran. And also, just go back to the whole EV thing. Remember, they lost Tesla in their state because of California politics. So what an insult to be driving around in a Chinese EV when we lost the American EV manufacturing right there in California. Yeah, great point. But, but I think what you said is right on, and that is the Democrats gave him the go-ahead to right. go meet with Xi Jinping. He would not have done that had it not been a directive or, you know, a, a blessing from the Democrat Party. Because where's Kamala Harris? I mean, yes, Gavin Newsom, he appears to be stronger than Joe Biden. He certainly looks presidential. But again, these optics are clear that he is lockstep with China, who is our number one adversary on the world stage. How terrible is that for the American public going forward? And um, especially right now, as China is directly supporting Iran, supporting Hamas. Absolutely. I wonder what the odds are that he's the nominee in 2024. Uh, uh, we'll see. Don't want to think about All it. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay with us.